Can you tell us what's taking place in there right now? Can you tell us what the uh, Justice Department is doing in uh, Senator Calderon's office? Federal agents still aren't saying much about the late night FBI raid at the state capitol, but today Action News is learning more about the state senator whose office was targeted and why the feds may be going after him. It is a developing story Action News is following. And that is our top story tonight at 6.30. Good evening, I'm Dale Yaron. And I'm Graciela Moreno. We're learning more tonight about the corruption investigation surrounding State Senator Ron Calderon. FBI agents searched two offices in the state capitol building yesterday. Action News Capitol reporter Nanette Miranda has more on the investigation and why California is one of the most scrutinized legislatures in the country. A Senate sergeant posted a do not enter sign on one of State Senator Ron Calderon's locked offices, forbidding anyone from coming in. Even his staff couldn't go to work. At the Banking and Finance Institutions Committee hearing, Senator Calderon was absent. All this a day after the FBI raided the Montebello Democrats' two Capitol offices. Agents carted away boxes and other items that may be relevant to an investigation of a public corruption case in Los Angeles County. The FBI declined to say why it's searching, but the Calderon name came up when the agency looked into the way the Central Basin Water District gave out contracts. It made for a very somber day as lawmakers tried to resume work. Whenever you have something like this, it's sad. Whether, again, it happens at the local level, city council, a school board, a water district, or the state senate. You know, it's a sad day. The FBI hasn't searched a Capitol office in 25 years. The last time was during the late 1980s scandal called called Shrimp Scam, where agents set up a sting that led to 14 convictions for bribery. In 2004, the FBI raided the Oakland homes of then-Senate President Don Parada and his son, focusing on their business dealings, but charges were never filed. Lawmakers say Californians shouldn't rush to judgment on the Calderon case. I think we just got to kind of take a deep breath, you know, and see where, see what's being said, see what's being investigated, see where this is all going. Government watched groups say California is one of the most scrutinized legislatures in the country because of the precedent-setting policies it tackles and the money flowing through in campaign contributions. Calderon comes from a political dynasty that has had a family member serve in the legislature since 1983. His brother Charles was recently termed out and nephew Ian is a freshman lawmaker. Ron's considered a business-friendly moderate. The second be uh, reported that he had accepted $40,000 in gifts, um, but that doesn't include campaign contributions. He's received hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaign contributions over his lifetime as a political uh, legislator. Senate President Daryl Steinberg says members will fully cooperate with investigators. This all comes at a time when lawmakers are trying to pass a state budget by the mid-June deadline. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC 30 Action News.